Hey everybody, welcome back to the Overwatch Project. Hey look, uh, I've been listening to a lot of this uh, talk and uh, all the stuff going on with Facebook and I just wanted to share something to, with you uh, about Facebook and what I think about that whole mess. So back in the day of MySpace, I was making websites and I was coding uh, HTML and uh, it was a hobby of mine and I was doing it as a, uh, sometimes as a part-time job. And um, I remember looking at MySpace, and everybody was all into MySpace, and I looked at it. It looked like a coding disaster to me. It just looked horrible. And then um, front, uh, Facebook came along, and almost overnight, it seemed like MySpace was gone, forgotten, and there was Facebook. And I looked at Facebook, and I looked at how it worked, and I looked at their policies, and I rejected it from day one. I have never used Facebook. I saw that what they were going to do with that platform is pretty much what everybody else is starting to figure out now. Although I don't know why I saw it immediately, but um, to me it was to me it was a, a, a just a disaster. Uh, and I didn't even like the way it was uh, put together. I didn't like the way it worked. I didn't like the policies. I didn't like. I thought it was like just incredibly overtly invas invasive now yeah I'm kind of stuck on Google and YouTube it's a little harder to get away from from that platform although BitChute is uh, coming along I'm on uh, Minds.com now and and I just signed up for Mime, uh, Minds.com the other day and I, I love it I, I'm surprised I didn't do it before, but it was really this whole Facebook thing that started me looking around. I don't understand why people don't realize that there are websites literally built to help you find alternatives to uh, other things. Alternative to .net is one of them, and if you just want to find an alternative to Facebook, it's actually one of the most popular things. Mines comes out on top. There's uh, other ones, of course. Twitter is getting all thumbs down here, and you can go and look at alternatives for Twitter, like Gab, which I'm also on. So I'm just abandoning these uh, platforms slowly as I can get away from them. I, like I said, I've never been on Facebook before, but um, I just never understood the popularity of it. I, I, I got along fine never using it. I've never used it. I've never um, recommend. I've always recommended people leave it. But now there's a chance to leave it, and it's something that's been frustrating me, the way the media, is, it, all this media coverage they're getting, and all these uh, uh, people in Congress, the people who are in charge of the people who spy on us, like Facebook, uh, while they're violating our rights uh, of that, and then Facebook is doing it, these two groups scolding each other is absolutely ironic, hip hypocritical, it's hilarious, it's fake, it's bullshit, but... Um, Now's the chance. Five percent. If a five percent of Facebook starts bailing, it could result in a viral bailout, just like it happened in MySpace. Um, I recommend you you check out Minds.com because uh, in just a few days that I've started using it, um, it's very intuitive. It's got uh, features that sort of blend. Uh, I guess what Facebook used to do, I, I'm not quite sure of that because I never used it, but um, it's definitely recommended as a Facebook replacement. And it's it, you can upload videos direct to this. You can uh, use it like Twitter. It's it's like the best of all worlds as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I actually signed up for the uh, pro version because it's uh, only a, a small fee a month. And um, I wanted to help them out, help them grow, and I'm trying to, you know, help the uh, move away from Facebook. Just delete Facebook. And if, and if you delete it, don't forget to disable any apps on your Android or iOS phones because they track you even when you're not, you know, logged in. And they may, in fact, have a shadow accounts for people that don't use them like me, so... I don't know about that, but I'm not sure about that. But I know that he was, uh, uh, I want to say something that sounds like Zuckerberg, but uh, starts with an F. Um, I, he was asked that on the stand today, so or if you can call it the farce, the circus that they have going on at the statist um, headquarters where they all tell us how to live. So... 
that's it for uh, this quick uh, update. Uh, so check out my website. It's been updated with new links. Um, Mines.com. Mine Fuel, since there's Mines.com here, so not, not to confuse anybody, it's just books now where it's the list of all the source material books I've gone through. Links, of course, where you can look through all the links. I have changed my about page just so you can see what it says now. Um, I created my Overwatch project at overwatchproject.com to share my thoughts, research, and deductions about the true nature of our reality. I am not religious. I am not an atheist. I seek knowledge, so I guess you can call me a Gnostic. I base my con conclusions about reality on the totality of information I have studied from diverse sources guided by my intuition. You can find the source material listed here on my site. Click through the navigation links, check out the books I have read or the many sites I link to. Be sure to check out my GabinMinds.com social networks and my videos on YouTube and BitChute. I try my best to have an open but critical mind, and I hope you find my site useful. Then I put some hashtag topics I cover, and um, two of my interviews with Jeff Doherty are there, uh, so they're permanently there now. So Streamlined it, made it simpler to understand, and uh, thanks for watching, and um, a little update video for everybody. I'll talk to you guys later.